Damage control continues for the Biden administration following the president's poor performance at last week's debate. In an exclusive interview with CBS News campaign reporter Nidia Cavazos, Vice President Kamala Harris downplayed age concerns and reaffirmed Biden as the Democratic choice for president. Joe Biden is our nominee. We beat Trump once and we're going to beat him again, period. Are you ready to lead the country if necessary? I am proud to be Joe Biden's running mate. Thank you. So Nidia is joining us now with more on that interview. Nidia, really good get. Um, let's talk a little bit about this. We heard what the vice president had to say about the possibility of her leading the ticket instead. Um, listen, there. I'm sort of curious because there's a lot of conversations behind the scenes about who could step in to replace Joe Biden. What sort of support is she receiving, even if she says she doesn't want any of it? Good morning, Anne-Marie, and you're completely right. There are so many conversations going on at this moment, but at least publicly, we are starting to see that some Democrats are coming out to support Vice President Kamala Harris, and they're calling on you know Democrats to replace President Biden with Harris on the nomination ticket. Just yesterday, we heard it from the former representative, Tim Ryan, who is calling for this re replacement, saying there are better odds at beating Trump when it comes to the general election in November of 2024. Now, if we ask Harris herself, as we just heard, she's saying Joe Biden is our nominee and she is his running mate. So we saw shortly after the debate, uh, the vice president was right in front of those TV cameras, um, you know, reinforcing uh, Joe Biden as the candidate of choice for the next presidential election. What else has she been doing or what else is, the, is it expected that she'll be doing to bolster the Biden campaign? Vice President immediately came out to support President Biden. She's been doing this on the campaign trail, and this is what we can expect from her in the upcoming days. We know that over the weekend, she's going to be in Louisiana campaigning and also hosting or attending different political events. And as far as next week, she's also expected to have a campaign stop in Nevada. And again, this is a key battleground state that is very important for uh, to determine the election results. And so this is what we're going to continue to see from her. But she's going to strongly come out and continue to support President Biden as the no Democratic nominee. So you also asked Harris for her reaction to the Supreme Court's ruling on presidential immunity. I want to play some of that sound. It's one of the foundational principles in our system of justice that no one is above the law. And when we have a candidate in Donald Trump who's openly said he'll be a dictator on day one, that he will weaponize the Department of Justice against his political enemies, it is very likely that he could be immune from those kinds of acts. And we have to take seriously the stakes of this election. So how much is the Biden campaign really sort of trying to drive attention towards this ruling? The Biden and Harris campaign, they've been doing this and they're going to continue to do so. They're going to be highlighting that no president is above the law, given the Supreme Court ruling that we had just this Monday on presidential immunity. And you ask how much are they truly emphasizing on this? Well, just this morning, the Biden and Harris campaign released a new ad again on this Supreme Court ruling, and they're claiming that the president can commit any crime. And this is because former President Donald Trump asked the Supreme Court to rule in this way. This is a new ad, and this is going to be running across all battleground states, and they're making their claims. All right, Nadia, thank you very much.